let me share the session to everyone let me share the session yeah, send the session to everyone so that you could join okay class 10th i hope you all were missing me so here we all are so we all are starting the new chapter the chapter name is footprints without feet it was written hello vanya hello ha vanya i got your present is hello ani hello abhijit hello sanya hi pragati hello vanya everyone are uh, everyone is here okay glad to see everyone hello pranjal hello everyone so glad to see you all here so uh, hello san saina hello everyone uh students please share this session to your friends so that they could also join and uh, today we will start with the chapter footprints footprints without feet it is written by hg wells this chapter is written by hg wells and this story is about uh an invisible man basically this is story is of a scientist who had discovered uh that the human body could also get disappear okay hello ananya glad to see you all here glad to see you all here hello pranjal hello everyone so this is this story is basically uh of a scientist who discovered that the human body could uh, become invisible and it could be invisible like a glass and could be solid as a glass okay so let's start the chapter this was an over overview that what the what was going in the chapter so let's see and i hope that everyone has uh, taken out their book ha yes manya advance preparation very good manya this is the advance preparation very good ha ananya nice to see that okay so we will start the chapter from here uh, many of you must have read this chapter hello aniket this novel many of you must have read this novel invisible man so let's begin the chapter the chapter starts from the street of london let's see what is going on in the london the two boys started in surprise at the fresh muddy imprints of a pair of bare feet what was a bare footed man doing on the steps of a house in the middle of london and where was the man now two boys two boys who were playing in uh, in the street they saw footprints um, uh, some muddy footprints and they were startled they were shocked to see the footprints and they were pondering that what these footprints were doing here and where is the man who is who is uh, roaming here and there barefooted here barefooted means nange paav without wearing any uh, shoes or slippers that is barefooted hmm yes pragati we have the particular story book yes so uh, students you have to take out your textbooks and uh, get ready with the pencil the words which i ask you to mark that words you have to mark those words you have to uh, use in your answer writing hello shreya welcome 
to the session. So, I was saying that you have to be uh, ready with your pencil so that uh, whatever words I will say you have to mark and write in your answers. They will be beneficial for you to score better in your board exams. Okay, let's see. So, we have seen two boys who were playing in the street. They saw uh, barefoot uh, prints. They saw the footprints of a man who was barefoot and they were pondering that why a man is barefoot and where is the man? Where is the man? Hello Abha, hi Navya, hello Dev. As they gazed, a remarkable sight met their eyes. A fresh foot, a footmark appeared from nowhere. Now what happened? Now they were searching for the man. But what happened? Suddenly, again they were they found footprints, and that footprints were ma was made suddenly at the same time they, that was made. Now they were shocked to see that. Abu bache ekdom shocked ho gaye the kyunki usi time wo footprints bane the. Further footprints followed one descending the steps and progressing down the street the boys followed fascinated until the muddy impression became fainter and fainter and at last disappeared altogether so as uh, those were boys okay those were kids so they started to follow those uh, footprints okay that, those muddy footprints and they were following that they were following those footprints until those footprints got disappeared here the word is written fascinated here the word is written fascinated can you tell me what this word mean fascinated do remember nobody will use google at this time can you tell me what this word fascinated means fascinated means extremely interesting okay fascinated means extremely interesting those were boys those were little boys uh hmm uh, partially correct pragati ha yes correct marnya very good so it is interesting okay uh, fascinated means extremely interesting so the boys found those footprints uh, of the invisible man very interesting and they were following that uh, foot the explanation of the mystery was really simple enough the bewildered boys had been following the scientist who had just discovered how to make a human body transparent so what happened now the writer is saying that this mystery is very simple this is not a mystery these footprints were of a scientist who has discovered the what he has discovered to how to make a human body transparent what does transparent means what does transparent means transparent means uh, by which we can see uh, uh, through we can see through the object um who has joined with the name ravi gupta ha huh. yes correct transparent means by which we can see through jiske aar paar dekh sake yes correct shivanshu yes like glass very nice okay anushka welcome anushka welcome shivanshu glad to see you here glad to see you let's see so here the author said that this mystery is very simple that a scientist has discovered that uh, uh, how to make a body how to make a body invisible griffin the scientist here the scientist name was given the scientist name is griffin so griffin the scientist had carried out <laughs> experiment after experiment to prove that 
the human body could become invisible. Now Griffin had made so many exper uh, experiments to prove his experiment and then he discovered that human body could become transparent. Finally he swallowed certain rare drugs and his body became as transparent as a sheet of glass. Through it also remained as solid as glass. And then he experimented that those drugs on himself. Ha, yes, Shreya, correct Shreya. Okay, okay, Salvi is there. Welcome, Salvi. So, uh, then Griffith, the scientist who discovered uh, that, uh, uh, that the human body could be transparent, human body could be invisible. So, he used his experiment on himself and he made himself invisible. At that time, he was invisible. He, uh, he, was, he cannot be seen, but his body was as solid as glass. We can see through the glass, but we can also touch the glass. Same was the body of Griffin. We cannot see body of Griffin, but his body was as solid as uh, a glass. Brilliant scientist, though he was, Griffin was rather a lawless person. What do you mean by lawless? What do you mean by lawless? Good evening, Mohammed Saf. Welcome, Saf. Glad to see you. Welcome, Saf. So, lawless means a person who do not follow any law. Okay, that is lawless. The person who do not follow or do not obey any law. Yes, very good, Pragati. Very nice. Good, Shivanshu. Very good. His landowner, uh, landlord disliked him and tried to eject him. Uh, in revenge, Griffin set fire to the house. To get away without being seen, he had to remove his clothes. Thus, it was that he became a homeless wanderer without clothes, without money and quite invisible. Until he happened to step in some mud and left footprints as he walked. Now, what happened? A griffin was a lawless person. He did not follow any law. So his landlord do not like him and they ejected him. What do you mean by ejected him? What do you mean by ejected here? Here, ejected means to uh, remove someone forcefully from somewhere. Kisi ko forcefully uski jagah se hata dena. That is ejected. Okay. So, the landlord ejected uh, Griffin. Yes. Correct, Pragati. Very nice. Ghar se nikal dena. Yes. So, the landlord ejected Griffin and Griffin was very angry at that time and he set fire uh, on that house. Set fire means, set fire means aag laga dena. Okay. So, uh, Griffin set fire at the home of the landlord and he uh, ran away. As he used the drug on himself, he took out the clothes and now he became naked and he was uh, roaming here and there in the streets of London. Okay? He, he was not visible until unless his footprints were visible. Now can you tell me why his footprints was visible? Why invisible man footprints visible? Why Griffin's footprint was visible? Can you tell me? See, uh, yes, correct. Very good, Anushka. Very nice. Good, uh, Pragati. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good, Pranjal. Very good. Yes, very good, Shivanshu. Giving me the correct answer. Very good, Akashi. Akashi, welcome to the, uh, the session. Welcome to the class. Glad to see you here, Akashi. So, uh, 
why he was his footprints were visible because his, maybe his body was invisible but he was as solid as a human body so whatever he will do you can touch it okay so his uh, foot were uh, feet were also uh, solid and if he will walk uh, then his footprints will be visible and he walked through the mud so that's why his footprints were visible very nice please students mark these words like fascinated because the boys were fascinated the questions must be asked and you have to use the words like fascinated bewildered bewildered means bewildered means surprised astonished bewildered means surprised astonished okay you have to use this word you may be asked in the exam that write the character sketch of griffin or uh, the invisible man you have to use the word that griffin was a lawless man okay you have to use this word so underline these words these words are very essential and these words will be helpful for your board exams do remember whatever i will say i will say according to my experience and as i have said i am taking your 100% guarantee to excel to make you excel your board exams with great score so do uh, believe uh, do have belief on me and also attentively uh, attend the session so let, let's come to the next page that is 20 27 page number he escaped easily enough from the boys who followed his footprints in london but his adventures were no means over he had chosen a bad time for uh, of the year to wander about london without clothes it was midwinter the air was bitterly cold and he could not do without clothes clothes instead of walking about the street he decided to slip into a big london store for warmth now in this story we have seen that uh, good evening saksham glad to see you welcome saksham uh, now as invisible set fire at the home of uh, at the house of uh, landlord and he ran away from there he uh, he ran away and uh, he was uh, seen by the two boys but still he uh, managed to get over from there but what happened the winter of the uh, the season of the london it was mid winter and it was a bad decision to roam here and there in uh who has joined with the name anita jha who has uh, okay okay i got it srishti jha welcome srishti glad to see you here so uh, it was mid winter and uh, that invisible man is roaming in the london in the streets of london ha srishti i got it so uh, the invisible man was roaming in the streets of london in mid winter and it was so much chilly uh, in the streets of london so he thought he got an idea and he thought that uh, roaming here and there without clothes let's go to the london store and had some warmth garmi ke liye wo london store mein chala gaya closing time arrived and as soon as the doors were shut griffin was able to give himself the pleasure pleasure of clothing and feeding himself without regard to expense Ex expense means expense kharch karna koi bhi cheez kharch karna that is expense so here the uh, invisible man was able to go inside the uh, inside the uh, store and then he was uh, he was there 
comfortable he wore the clothes he had the food free free clothing free food and he do not have to pay anything for it he was taking pleasure of the of of all things he broke open boxes and wrappers and fitted himself out with warm clothes soon with the shoes and overcoat and wide brimmed hat he became a fully dressed and visible man so now he put on some clothes who put on clothes class tell me who put on clothes who put on clothes yes you got it right the invisible man correct the invisible man uh, put on the clothes where the invisible man was where the invisible man was the invisible man hmm correct prabhati ha very good sanya and where the invisible man was where the invisible man was the invisible hmm correct correct prabhati very good very good sanya good good anushka it is in london store he was in london store uh, london store and having pleasure good akash very nice good anushka welcome anushka glad to see you here so what he was doing over there he was opening the boxes and uh, or opening the wrappers wearing the clothes hat and covering himself with warm clothes okay and then what he did in the kitchen of the restaurant restaurant he found cold meat and coffee and he followed up the meal with sweets and wine taken from the grocery store finally he settled down to sleep on a pile of quilts now what he did over there he wrapped himself he put on clothes and uh, he wrapped himself with warm clothes then he gone to the kitchen of the restaurant he ate uh, everything over there whatever he got and then he get, uh, gone to sleep there was a pile of quilts quilts means rajai rajai ka gathar tha wahan pe he slept over there if only griffin had managed to wake up in good time all might have been well as it was he did not wake up until the assistants were already arriving next morning when he saw a couple of them approaching he panicked and began to run they naturally gave chase in the end he was able to escape only by quickly taking off taking off his newly found clothes so once more he found himself invisible but naked in the chilly january air now what happened now when he went to sleep his plan was he will woke up early and move from this place but what happened he slept and he woke up late he woke up when the assistant of that store came and then they saw he when they saw invisible man they he uh, the invisible man panicked panicked means panicked means ghabra jana wo ghabra gaya and the invisible man started to run from the store and if uh, you will start to run automatically the people will start to chase you so same assistant of that store started to hmm correct good sign started to chase invisible man okay chase means kisi ko pakadna and then again the invisible man was in trouble he took out he took out to uh, he took out his uh, clothes and uh, then he again he was invisible but 
unfortunately naked okay class do share this session with your friends okay class do share this session with your friends so that so that they could also get benefited okay and what which month it was in london which month it was which month the invisible man was roaming in which month in the streets of london it was yes correct correct sanya correct pranjal very good good ah uh, saksham no saksham you are absolutely wrong i said uh, it was which month in invisible uh, that invisible man roaming a uh, very good akashi now saksham you are absolutely correct uh, good anshika very good akashi hmm good shivanshu correct so it was the month of january and again unfortunately invisible man naked and roaming here and there this time he decided to try uh, the stock of the theatrical company in the hope of finding uh, not only clothes but also something that would hide the empty space above his shoulders shivering with cold he hurried to dury lane uh, the center of the theater world now this time uh, invisible man headed to the theatrical a uh, set a uh, theatrical company okay theatrical company means theater you must know na theater in the old uh, earlier times people used to go uh, theater they used to go uh, to the theater and uh, watch the drama so uh, he moved to the theater company uh, uh, in the expectations that he will not only get the clothes but also get something to show his head all head okay because he used to wear the clothes but his face his head was invisible okay so that's why in hope that he will not only get the clothes but he could also get some other stuff to make his head visible so he headed towards the theatrical company the theatrical company was in dury lane students you have to you have to uh, write all the details in your answers because the examiner want the detailing in your answers the vocabs in your answer your answer should look like that a 10th class a 10th grade student has written it okay so you have to write in very in very mature manner okay don't write in very uh, layman layman uh, types okay he soon found a suitable shop he made his way invisible upstairs and came out a little later wearing bandages round his forehead dark glasses false nose big bushy side whiskers and a large hat to escape without being seen he callously attacked the shopkeeper from behind after which he robbed him of all the money he could find now what happened he moved to the theatrical company and then he found a shop over there he moved upstairs wear clothes he uh, uh, on his face he put bandages put a false nose false nose means nakli nak uh yes sanya you can write you can uh, you could write with uh, write in points but do remember when you are writing in points that points should be very precise because when you are writing in points it means that uh, you are attracting you are catching the attention of the examiner ये लीजिए जल्दी जल्दी मैंने परोस दिया है अब आप बस पढ़िए और मुझे मार्क्स दीजिए इन अ पैराग्राफ इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू रीड सो द एग्जामिनर यूज टू रीड थॉरोली बट इन पॉइंट्स वी राइट लेस बट प्रिसाइज सो डू रिमेंबर सानिया 
if sanya if you are writing in points it should be very precise and particular to the topic okay don't beat behind the bush otherwise your instead of getting marks it will be cut okay so don't do anything like a bell mujhe maar points likhne pe aisa hi ho jayega jaise a bell mujhe maar aisi cheeze ho jayengi okay so write in the points only if you know the answers very precisely okay otherwise writing in points is fabulous so here uh, the invisible man so uh, invisible man wore the clothes uh, bandaged him uh, his head and then what he did he callously callously means cruelly okay to show cruelty okay callously he callously uh, attacked the shopkeeper and he robbed the shopkeeper he robbed the money from the shopkeeper do uh, underline the word callously okay callously means show cruelty okay eager to get away from crowded eager to get away from crowded london he took a train to the village of ipe now do remember students here uh, invisible man avoided the place london and now he headed towards iping iping is a small village where now the invisible man going uh, class uh, do tell me am i visible and audible please give me a uh, thumbs up that i am audible and visible okay thank you sanya thank you students thank you thank you ha i got i got your response thank you okay let's concentrate so now uh, uh that invisible man is headed towards i think i think is a small village now invisible man is avoiding the crowd of london because he had done so many uh, lawless things over london he had uh, gone to the store ate and um, done all the uh, burglary over there and then he robbed the uh, theatrical shopkeeper theater shopkeeper so all everything he has done and now he headed towards i think where he booked two rooms at the local inn in i double n inn means a hotel a small hotel uh, the arrival of a stranger at an inn in winter was in any case an unusual event a stranger of such uncommon appearance set all tongues wagging mrs a hall the landlord's wife made every effort to be friendly but griffin had no desire to talk and told her my reason for coming to i think is a desire for solitude i do not wish to be disturbed in my work besides an accident has affected my face now what happened when invisible man reached to iping he booked two rooms in uh, the iping inn okay in the local inn and then the landlord the land lady her name was mrs hall she wanted to know more about invisible man but invisible man do not desire to talk anyone and he said he said that please Uh, i don't want to talk and i am in the i think for solitude solitude means shanti akele pan ke liye okay solitude means peace or akela pan okay uh, now here students please mark a word that is set all tongues 
wagging set all tongues wagging this mean what does it mean hmm correct uh, correct anushka but uh, i am asking that what does mean uh, set all tongues wagging it means that uh when people starts to talk about your private affairs your private life okay aapke nizi zindagi ke bare mein jab log baatein karne lagte hain aapke na chahte hue bhi log aapke nizi jeevan ke bare mein jab baatein karte hain that is called set all tongues wagging okay so mark this word and write then that when people starts to talk about uh their private uh, uh, other people private lives okay talking or guessing about their private lives okay so uh whose private life the people were talking about whose private life the people were talking about invisible man okay ha very good very good sanya you were the first who answered me good hmm it was invisible man because it was strange that somebody came in this small uh, village i think when it was winter nobody used to come in the winter season in this uh, village and a stranger came to i think that's why everyone started to talk ha huh, good section so now see students here the words are given set all tongues wagging eccentric these words you have to use in your answer writing again and again i am telling you so that you should remember what ma'am has said to write in your answers what how you have to write your answers okay do remember that's why i am repeating it okay so uh landlady the landlady mrs hall wants to talk to him but uh, griffin was not uh, in desire to talk to her and he said that he wants solitude means akela pan he he is here for the solitude so he don't want anyone to disturb him and he only told her that my face was affected by an accident my face his face uh, griffin face was affected by accident that's why there are so many bandages on his face satisfied that her guest was an eccentric uh, scientist and in view of the fact that he had paid her in advance mrs hall was prepared to excuse his strange habits and irritable temper but the stolen money did not last long and presently griffin had to admit that he had no more ready cash he pretended however that he was expecting a check to arrive at any moment now what happened uh mrs hall except to her strange uh scientist a strange guest here a word is used eccentric eccentric means strange okay eccentric means strange behavior okay so uh mrs hall accepted the eccentric scientist see you nobody will use a strange behavior or strange scientist you have to use the word eccentric okay nobody will use the words like strange or whatever you have to use the words which is yes saksham you have to use the word um, eccentric okay in your answer writing so uh, she accepted why she accepted uh, him because uh, he had paid in advance and uh, uh, he has uh, he, the griffin griffin had paid mrs hall in advance that's why she accepted that strange guest in her inn okay but after uh, that the money he had stolen that do not last too long and 
the money was over and then he was uh, making some excuses he said that uh, uh, my uh, money was over now i do not left any money but i uh, i will uh, i will receive check any moment he was pretending jhoot bol raha tha aisa dikha raha tha ki ha kisi bhi samay mujhe check mil sakta hai mere experiment ke liye he was pretending okay shortly afterwards a curious episode occurred very early in the morning a clergyman and his wife were awakened by noises in the study creeping downstairs they heard that the chink of money being taken from the clergyman's desk now what after that a uh, uh an episode happened what happened what was that episode that was a clergyman and his wife there was a burglary in clergyman's house okay clergyman means a male priest a male priest specially in a uh, christian okay specially in christian okay you must have seen a male priest uh, that is uh, in christian you must have seen so that clergyman and his wife woke up by some voice in the more early morning and they uh, came creeping downstairs creeping means what do you mean by creeping 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 means to come slowly okay to come slowly and carefully creeping means to come slowly and uh, carefully so that nobody could notice okay that is creeping so the clergyman and his wife uh, came creeping and then they heard chink of money chink of money means paiso ki khankhanahat coins coins ki jo khankhanahat hoti hai yes saksham ha carefully correct saksham very good so they heard the chink of money who heard the chink of money who heard the chink of money who will tell me the first chink of money that is ready money means sound of the uh, coins especially the coins okay so they heard that chink of money being taken from the clergyman's desk they heard that somebody is taking out the money from his desk without making any noise and with a poker grasped firmly in his hand the clergyman flung open the door surrender now what happened yes saksham correct very uh no uh, invisible man do not heard the sound of uh, that chink of money the clergyman and his wife heard the chink of money invisible man was taking out the money and the clergyman and his wife heard the chink of the money okay um staff it is not landlord it is clergyman landlord is not there clergyman now the invisible man is doing robbery in cler- clergyman's house okay so now the invisible man was doing robbery in clergyman house not the landlord house no no staff it is clergyman's house Hmm. And then the clergyman hold the poker. Uh, poker means uh, a metal which is used to push the fire or uh, uh, coal or wood into the fire. Fukni, fukni, dekhi hai sabne? Jisse chula jalate hain, hai na? Fukni dekhi hogi sabne. Okay, chula jalane ke liye. so uh, our grandmothers used to uh, use those that is called poker okay funny okay that is called poker poker the clergyman opened the door and he said surrender 
Then to his amazement, he realized who has joined with the beast gaming, who has joined with that name. Then to his amazement, he realized that room appeared to be empty. He and his wife looked under the desk and behind the curtains and even up the chimney. There wasn't a sign of anybody, yet the desk had been opened and the housekeeping money was mis missing. Extraordinary affair, the clergyman kept saying for the rest of the day. Now what happened when they entered into the room, they saw that uh, there was no, no one. They, uh, they searched for somebody under the desk and uh, behind the curtains. A chimney everywhere they searched but they found no one but they seen that the drawer was open and the whole day long the whole day uh, the whole day long the clergyman keep on saying that it was an extraordinary affair it was an extraordinary affair okay what a jeep cheese we have but it was not an extraordinary as the behavior of Mrs. Hall's furniture a little later that morning. Now, what happened that it was not uh, that extraordinary that happened in Mrs. Hall that morning. Kuch aisa hua, itna bhi adbhud ya kuch aisa nahi tha jo Mrs. Hall ke yaha hua. Mrs. Hall के यहाँ कुछ ऐसा हुआ जो उससे भी ज़्यादा extraordinary था। क्या हुआ? That the furniture, the furnitures were doing something in Mrs. Hall. Let's see what the furnitures were doing in Mrs. Hall's uh, house, and it was called extraordinary. The landlord and his wife were way, were up very early, and were surprised to see that scientists door wide open. Usually it was shut and locked. And he was furious if every, anyone entered his room. The opportunity seemed too glad to be missed. They peeped round the door, saw nobody and decided to investigate. The bedclothes were cold, showing that the scientist must have been up for some time. The stranger still the clothes and the bandages that he always wore were lying above the room. Now what happened? The landlord and his wife. Who was the landlord and who was his wife? Who was the landlord and who was his wife? Who will give me the answer? Who was the landlord and who is his wife? Yes, correct. Very good, Shivanshu. Very nice. Good, Sanya. Good. So, good. Good, Saksham. Very nice. So, the landlord uh, was Mr. and Mrs. Hall. Mr. and Mrs. Hall. They woke up early in the morning and then they saw that the room of the scientist was wide open. They found it as an opportunity and then what they did, uh, they started to peep inside the room. Peep means jhaakne lage in the room and then they found that there was no one in the room and then they found that it is a best time to investigate in the room of, uh, uh, room of uh, that uh, strange stranger that is invisible man when they entered the room they found that uh, the man is not there griffin the scientist is not there his uh, bed was uh, bed was cold here bed cold means bed cold means that thanda bed it means nobody is sleeping you must have seen when you were sleeping on the bed after you woke up if you have touched that bed you must have felt that it was warm aap jis jagah pe soye the udhar se uth ke ek bar haath laga ke dekhiye garam lagegi wo jagah hai yes or no so they found that the bed was cold it means 
uh, it means that invisible man the scientist was not there yes not there he must be woken up early and they also found that the uh, bandages were lying on the bed so they were searching all over in the room all of a sudden mrs hall heard a sniff close to her ear uh, now students see the paragraph here uh, furious is written what do you mean by furious what do you mean by furious have you seen the movie fast and furious have you seen that movie fast and furious what does it mean it means very angry okay very angry now uh, tell me who was furious by nature who was furious by his nature let me see who will answer first who is furious by nature in this story yes very good sanya i am glad to see your attentiveness sanya you have answered first very good that is the scientist griffin griffin was in this story griffin was a, f- a furious character he used he used to lose his temper very easily good very good sanya so we have seen that mr and mrs hall is investigating the room of the scientist that is griffin so they said now suddenly mrs hall heard a sniff sniff means the uh, the sound of the breath hello shiva welcome to the class glad to see you here shiva so now uh, mrs hall heard a sniff sniff means breathing breathing of uh, breathe someone breathing she heard in her ears someone breathing in the air okay usko kaano mein sunai diya ki koi hello tanmay glad to see you tanmay so he uh, mrs hall heard that somebody is sniffing koi saans le raha hai hawa mein okay a moment later the hat a moment later the hat on the bed post leapt up and dashed itself into her face now what happened after that when she heard somebody is sniffing after that what happened uh somebody threw the hat from the bed post bed post means headrest bed post means headrest you must have uh, the bed in your house so bed post means sirhana सिराने से किसी ने हेड हैट निकाला ओके एंड हियर इट इज रिटर्न लेफ्ट अप लेफ्ट अप मींस टू मूव सडनली ओके सो सडनली समबडी पिक्ड अप द हैट एंड डैश्ड टुवर्ड्स डैश्ड मींस फेंकना फोर्सफुली किसी चीज को फेंक देना क्विकली थ्रो समथिंग डैश्ड टुवर्ड्स मिसेस हॉल ओके then the bedroom chair became alive so now the chair became alive and it, the chair was moving springing into the air it charged straight at her legs foremost now the chair was thrown towards the towards mrs hall and it was towards uh, thrown towards her legs चेयर पहले हैट फेंकी गई मिसेस हॉल की तरफ अब चेयर फेंकी गई ओके चेयर उड़ के आई उनके पैरों के पास एज शी एंड हर हसबेंड टर्न अवे इन टेरर द एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी चेयर पुश देम बोथ आउट ऑफ द रूम एंड देन अपीयर टू स्लैम एंड लॉक द डोर आफ्टर देम जैसे ही दैट मिस्टर एंड मिसेस हॉल सॉ दैट द Uh, suddenly the hat came towards them somebody thrown hat towards them and now the chair thrown towards them they started to run uh, uh, from the room but what happened the chair 
pushed the, uh, them out of the room and closed the door. Mrs. Hall almost almost fell down the stairs in hysterics. She was convinced that the room was haunted by spirits and that the stranger had somehow caused these to enter into her furniture. Now Mrs. Hall thought that uh, some kind of a spirit has came into her room. उसको लग रहा था मिसेस हॉल को ये लगने लगा कि शायद भूत भूत आ गए हैं उसके रूम में और इन सब का दोषी जो है वो दैट ग्रिफिन द साइंटिस्ट वाज द कल्परेट उसी ने कुछ काला जादू किया है मेरे फर्नीचर्स पे एंड नाउ सॉरी फर्नीचर पे एंड नाउ माय फर्नीचर वाज स्पिरिटेड भूत आ गए हैं अब मेरे फर्नीचर में माई पुअर मदर यूज टू सिट इन दैट चेयर शी मोल्ड to think it should rise up against me now now sanya ha uh, yes sanya i am coming to it hysterics what do you mean by hysterics hysterics means be wild hysterics means be wild or getting emotional okay wildly emotions to show wild emotions that is hysterics okay when the mrs hall fall uh, from there when the Ms. mrs hall was pushed outside of the room by the chair uh, an emotion a wild emotions okay wild fa uh, facial emotions were there on her face jo girte girte agar bacho to kaise chehra ho jata hai that is hysterics okay you will write the meaning that is a bewildered emotion bewildered emotion or exaggerated reaction badha chadha kar koi reaction dena jise girte girte are 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 aise girte girte jo hum reaction dete hain na that is called hysteric okay so she moan moan means Uh, to speak in very low voice so she moaned that this chair which pushed her outside of the room her mother used to sit in that uh, chair whose mother used to sit on the chair whose mother used to sit on the chair let me see who will answer first whose mother used to sit on the chair Mrs. Hall, Mrs. Hall, mother used to sit on the chair, the same chair which right now the chair who pushed uh, Mrs. Hall and Mr. Hall outside of the room, and she thought that uh, her room became haunted, and uh, all these things were done by invisible man. okay uh class now this is all for today we will continue this session tomorrow okay this is all for today we will continue this session tomorrow and complete this session okay so in this today we have seen let's do a quick recap in this session we have seen that uh a simple man he was a scientist his name was his name was griffin he has discovered that how a human body could make uh, could be invisible how a human body could make invisible he used his experiment on himself and made himself invisible he was first identified by the two boys who was playing in on uh, in the street and then he managed to get away from there okay why he was invisible because griffin was a lawless man and he set fire 
in the house of his landlord and he ran over there he was roaming here and there in the street of london and then he got into the uh, london store where he put on some clothes and uh, find some food for himself but he was caught by the assistants of the store and then again he became uh, naked and invisible now he gone to the theatrical company to find some clothes and some other stuff to make his head visible so what he did he wore the clothes and uh, wrapped his head by the bandages he also wore a false nose and then very uh, callously callously he killed uh, he stuck the shopkeeper of the theater company okay after that he uh, managed to come in ipings iping village where uh, everyone was talking about the strange man who come who came there in mid winter that is january month nobody used to come in iping in the month of january there he took two rooms he rented two rooms and he paid advance to mrs hall and he told mrs hall that his face was uh, uh, his face was harmed because of experiment and he is in the iping for solitude he do not want to be disturbed after that his uh, robbed money was over and again he made a plan to rob someone his next target for robbing uh, robbing was the clergyman he entered the clergyman house and robbed him the se- uh, third incident happened he pushed mr and mrs hall out of the room and f- from that incident mrs hall thought that there was a spirit inside her house and all these were done by the in uh, that scientist that strange scientist yes pragati what question you have yes pragati no no pragati clergy man was not the husband of mrs hall mr and mrs hall is another character clergy man and his is another character in i think we have seen right now we have seen two characters that is mr and mrs hall was first character second character was clergy man and his wife two characters we have seen right now we have seen two characters in iping village i hope uh, it is clear to you pragati now now it is clear to you pragati i hope so uh, uh the scientist became invisible and he was robbing clergyman hmm after that he pushed uh, mrs and mr hall out of the room uh, and now mrs hall was thinking that her house became haunted and all these were done by that strange scientist this thing this much we have seen today tomorrow we will continue the story i hope you understood the story if you have any question or doubt you can write in the comment box i will gla- i'm glad to have you all here i'm glad to see you all here and we will meet in our next class till then goodbye don't forget to write comments in the comment box 
I will feel happy to answer your questions. Till then, bye-bye. Good night. Take care.